been wanting to talk about the Swing Caddy SC300i uh, portable launch monitor. Uh, my experience with it. I have tried the PRGR. I have tried the Swing Caddy SC200 Plus. I have not tried the Rapsido. Have not tried Flight Scope, but we'll give my uh, experience with this. I've used uh, this uh, into a net as well as on the course uh, in the open air, and I have found it to be uh, fairly accurate. I have not compared it directly against a TrackMan or anything like that, but from comparing against other GPS systems and yardages on the course and into the net, uh, it's been very impressive. If you're after a quick, uh, fairly budget friendly for this uh, space of equipment and basically just a setup and go, uh, very impressed with it. Simple turn on button. I'm in direct sunlight today. Uh, it has a very readable uh, display, uh, gives easy readout. It's basically sit at five feet behind your ball and you can start hitting and it gives you instant feedback. It does uh, pair up with an app. The app will give you uh, some fairly in-depth data, spin rates, uh, things like that. You don't have to use it with an app. I have found the app to be pretty usable. I think some maybe find it a little cumbersome, but it's pretty good. Uh, the stock information uh, on the screen is going to be carry distance. You can set that to total distance as well. Swing speed, ball speed, apex, launch angle, as well as smash factor. The one thing you're not gonna get on PRGR and the SC200 Plus, you're not gonna get the launch angle with those. One thing that you do not get on the SC300i, this does not have functionality for air swings to only do an air swing and get swing speed. You can get that on something like the PRGR as well as the SC200 Plus. But if you're after a, a system that gives you a pretty robust data and just set it behind your ball and go, uh, this is this is really solid. It does uh, have a remote. The remote, you can quickly select uh, what club you're hitting uh, if you're several feet away from the ball. It does have a target mode, a practice mode, uh, if you want to hit towards a specific yardage in target mode and work on that. Uh, you can, in the app, you can set different clubs. If you have certain degree increments that you have that are different, you can set those. Uh, the battery life is really strong. Uh, it does last for a good while. Uh, I'll hit a few here. Uh, like I said, it's a very straightforward setup. Uh, has the remote. I'm in open air today just with some wedges. Uh, I have found it hitting into a net. It needs about eight feet into a net. I have found it to be uh, fairly accurate. I'll just set it to my uh, gap wedge here on the unit itself. And we'll just hit a few and it does give voice readout. The voice readout is uh, fairly recognizable. You may not pick it up on the video here, but Five. the voice readout will give you prompt readout on on your distance. So like I said, just for setup and go, it's about five feet behind the ball here and just set it there. I'm hitting into the open air here. This is just a little wedge and this will hit some, some half swings. So that gave the voice feedback there, but it's just very simple setup and go gives fairly robust data for what it is. And I have a net at home. I've mainly used it into a net. The net maybe has been uh, a little bit on the short side of distance, but I'd say it's within 10% from what I've compared uh, on the course, but it's a fun uh, tool to have uh, in your practice uh, tools. It's a good a uh, robust tool if you want to pair it up with the app and get more data on that. But uh, it's just simple. Five feet behind the ball, into an open air. If you're hitting into a net, you need about eight feet of ball travel. But it gives you good, gives you good feedback for working on wedges, Nine. wedge distances, Five. things like that. Very easy display uh, in the sunlight. Swing Caddy SC300i, I would recommend it.